All right, I'm gonna show you guys the Greek waiter's tray. So a pretty easy device to make. You need a, flat, a solid surface, a flat surface to make your base, and then four strings of equal length to attach it to a common point. And then now you have this cool tray that you can spin around. So I start off by putting an empty cup on my tray, put it right in the center so it's nice and flat. And then we're gonna see if the cup stays on. So we're gonna start swinging around. Oh. And probably like me, your empty light cup is going to fall off because it doesn't have very much mass and the air can just knock it right off the tray. So I'm going to add some water to our cup, which is going to increase the mass of our cup. It's going to increase the friction between the cup and the tray. And it's also going to increase our danger factor a little bit, making it a little bit more exciting. And now when we spin it around, whoo, our cup full of water stays right on the tray. Got a little bit more friction. We have some force pushing our cup against our tray and it stays on. The third level of this, if you don't have a Greek waiter's tray, is you can actually use the same principles to do it with the water and the cup in your hand just like this. Hold it at full length and just start swinging it around. I'll leave that one to you guys.